I get those goosebumps every time you come around, yeah You ease my mind, you make everything go fine Worry about those comments, I'm way too numb, yeah It's way too dumb, yeah I get those goosebumps every time I need the hype, throw that to the side, yeah. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah When you're not around, we throw that to the side, yeah. jump in and point something out to you guys so this unit is not exactly what it looks like so it looks like it's a silk base 4x4 closure in fact it's literally just a part it's literally just the part this is literally where the tracks start I can't even pluck this like you guys see like I stopped the video because you guys saw how thick the hairline was I can't pluck it the tracks are literally right here okay I mean this is probably the least amount I've never received a closure wig like this so yeah this is where the tracks are here so that's why I can't pluck it and make it look realistic we're just gonna have to work with it you guys so just please don't clock me in the comments <laughs> I had to come in and stop and show y'all what I was working with because I know somebody was going to say something like, girl, what is going on? 
Cause y'all know I don't do that. Some people they do that. I don't do that. No. <laughs> so anyway, earlier I had to pluck this part. So that's why the part looks like this. But I'm gonna put some concealer on it. Wipe some off. Make sure you wipe some off before you put it on here. It's still hella light. <laughs> I'm gonna try to work with it as it is. I'm not really a big fan of the hairline right now. But basically, I'm just gonna put some waves in it. I had to scoot back so you guys can really see. So this is what the hair is already looking like. And it has like a natural like wave to it already. And it's definitely giving fall colors. Basically what they did was they did a nice like chocolate brown color like a number four and then they mixed it with this orange color some of the color is like blunt you can kind of tell it's not like the best color job as far as like blending is concerned and then the pieces that are in this very front piece i wish they would have gave me a little bit more because i literally just have this little strand anyway i have my hot comb here my hot comb has been preheating so anytime that you're doing your hair you always want to put on a heat protectant on anytime you're styling your hair with any type of styling tools whether it be a hot comb a flat iron, a curling iron, a crimper, a wave iron, whatever you want to call it, okay? Make sure you're protecting your hair so that it doesn't get all fried. Because one thing I will say about this wig, this unit is fresh out of the box. I literally just plucked the part because there was no point of me doing anything. I couldn't bleach the knots because it's a silk base. Like, I can't even get to the knots. And then I couldn't really pluck it either. So just like, just pluck the part so that part is at least a little bit more exposed and yeah the wig is already pretty flat i do want to point that out so i do like that about this wig i don't even really need to go in with a hot comb but i am but i like these kinds of waves it's like that like beach wave kind of hair like that effortless like magazine model hair i don't know <laughs> y'all know what i'm talking about be very careful with this though you guys because Baby, you do not want to burn yourself. I already burned myself the other day. So yeah, just so I can have like a little bit more volume right there. And then we're just going to add some waves. So the curling iron that I'm going to be using today, I actually got from Dress Lily. I know some of y'all are like, wait, you got that from Dress Lily? Girl, yes. I got this from Dress Lily. And it was like a six-piece set. So I have a bunch of these different things. It's like interchangeable. So I have a bunch of different sizes, different styles. And I love that. And I got that from them, you guys. It's so crazy. But you can find something like that like on Amazon. Okay. So now we're just going to start on waving our hair. Here we go. Can y'all really feel, baby girl? East Coast, Bill. Bill. West Coast, Bill. Say what? Dirty South. Here we go. Can y'all really feel, baby girl? East Coast, Bill. West Coast, Bill. Say what? Dirty South. Here
a few minutes before I actually undo all of these curls and then I just put some hairspray on so I'm just gonna let my hair just kind of dry and do its thing and then in a few minutes I'm gonna come back and then we'll undo it and I'll let you guys know my thoughts on this wig okay you guys so a few minutes have gone by so one side is actually longer than the other I don't know why that is but um, anyway so I'm just gonna take my fingers I couldn't find a comb that's good enough for this. So I'm just gonna take my fingers, and my mirror's over here, and then I'm just going to unravel this with my hands. Yes, girl. I love this hair. It curled really, really pretty. I think that was a great decision. What do you guys think? Do you guys like this hair? I don't know, the color job could have been done a little bit better, but I'm not mad at it. So yeah, you guys, this is officially the finished look, and I really, really like this hair. I think it's definitely appropriate for the season. Nonetheless, we made it work with what we were given. You guys saw the lace that we were given as well, so we weren't really able to do too much in today's look. I didn't want to leave the hair straight, so I just, you know, added some, you know, wand curls to my hair or whatever and, and then the reason why i love doing wand curls is because when it falls it usually falls like really really pretty i would say if you do wear this hair definitely curl it or crimp it the only reason why i say that is because if you leave it straight you're going to be able to see the color job isn't blended that well so if you leave it straight you'll be able to see all the imperfections so if you curl it it'll kind of like make it blend in in a sense i don't know how to explain it but yeah, it makes a difference when you curl your hair when it's not like that good of a blend because you can't really tell, you know what I mean? You can't tell where things stop and start, but when it's like straight, you can see like every single detail to the hair. So that's the only reason why I say, if you are gonna wear this unit, definitely try to like curl it up or something like that. That's not to say that you can't wear it straight, you definitely could, but that's just my advice. I'm just giving you my styling tips on this particular unit. Based off of what I've noticed with the unit, um, there isn't any shedding or tangling in this hair, which I absolutely love the thing that I will say even though this hair is colored I will say that it didn't mess up the integrity of the hair the hair is still very very soft and it still has that you nice quality that I expect with all of their units so I love that about this unit because you guys know sometimes when you have units that are colored you know it can easily look like fried 
tight or frizzy or something like that. But this looks very healthy, even up close. Like the hair just looks super healthy. So I wanna say that this is probably about like a 24 inch unit. It feels to be about a 150 to a 180% density unit. I really do like the density to this unit. It's not too thick, not too thin. It's actually pretty perfect for me. This is kind of like my go-to density. I don't really like really, really thick units and I don't like them too thin either to where the point is just like, you have to do, you have to do curls in certain units so that it actually looks more full and I hate that with certain units, but this unit is actually pretty perfect. This is where the hair is hitting me in the back. This is where the hair is hitting me in the back. And then this is what the hair looks like in the back. Hopefully you guys can see. And then here is an up close look at the unit. Like, <laughs> You guys, this hairline is honestly killing me. I'm just gonna keep it real with y'all. This, this hairline is killing me, but it's just one of those days, y'all. Like, I can't pluck it. Like, there's tracks there, so that's pretty much what we're dealing with. But I did try to, like, at least bring these parts down. And I didn't wanna do baby hair, cause this kind of look doesn't really, I don't really feel like you can do baby hair with certain looks. If that makes sense. Like certain looks is just technically just supposed to be a part. Like, every hairstyle cannot have baby hair. The only real con that I'm having for this unit, if I'm being honest, is just that I wish I had more of this little orange piece in the front. I feel like it's not enough on this side, but there's that. And then of course, like the construction of the unit. I will say that I do understand why they made this wig the way they did. And it's just because there is a lace shortage right now. It's just been an overall issue for a lot of people. So I'm gonna work with them on that, you know. I still was able to manage to make my hair look good. And let's just be real, most of the time when you have a closure unit, you're gonna wear it in the middle part anyway. You're not really gonna use the rest of the lace. You just like the fact that it's there pretty much. And another thing that I will say I love, love, love about this unit is just how flat it lays. And I was able to use my curling wand to like really get it even more flat. But like, look how flat my unit is. Like, hello, it's so, so flat. But yeah, you guys, this is a finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, this is the perfect fall wig, honestly. You guys probably will see this a lot, you know, around this time because I've seen a lot of companies promoting this and, you know, this whole colorway. And I think it's really nice. I think it's worth, you know, trying out if you haven't tried it yet. Just try it out, see how you like it. I was nervous about it at first. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I was like, how am I gonna make this work, honey? But I was able to like make it work, make it look kind of cute or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully this video did help somebody out there who might have been looking into this unit. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video overall. If you guys have any questions that I didn't answer in today's video, go ahead and drop a comment down below and I'll get to you guys as soon as possible. I wanna give a big thanks to our sponsor today, you nice for sending over this unit and I will see all of you beautiful people in my next one. Bye!